Hey family, how are you? If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you are well today. And I do believe that the divine has guided you here for a reason. You could be on your healing path. You could be confused about where you need to be, but either way, you are here. So it's not by accident. Welcome, pull up a chair, have a seat. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Just kidding. No, hopefully not a bumpy ride. Hopefully this is a nice and smooth ride. I'm in a very interesting mood today. <laughs> a very giddy and funny mood today. And I love it. Hey, Soul Family. What's going on? I love y'all. I hope y'all are doing well today. I hope that you are smiling. I'm just smiling right now. Just because, just because God is so amazing. Um, I don't know what's up with this read here. I felt guided to these decks here, and there's a message in all of this. I don't know if it's going to be a cohesive message or if it's uh, going to be just a bunch of individual messages, but um, I'm guided to pull from all of these decks and see what's going on. So, as always, let's go ahead and take a few long deep breaths. Inhale positive life force energy. Exhale any stress or anxiety that you are feeling at this time. Most High God, Divine Holy Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Divine beings only of the highest white light, please and thank you. Please come forward. Please connect with me now and allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know today. Please let there be none of me and all of you. Please anoint and authorize every word that comes out of my mouth. Archangel Michael, please protect our energy. Please close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. Please and thank you. A lot of messages coming through. Something about makeover is coming up. Something changing, switching up something, changing something, reorganizing revamping transitioning transforming something about that where are we going first holy spirit all right what is the message what do our loved ones need to know today holy spirit Okay, so they want me to pull and we'll go over all of the cards once all the cards are out. I felt it, but I lost it. death and transformation okay so yes am i taking this no okay but this is what this energy is about i think i did say have a seat <laughs> to our newcomers so this may be some bumpy ride energy i take everything as a sign and that's not my usual intro so let's see can't keep running away. So I feel as though we are being called to reform in some way. Something like that. Let's see. What's the message, Holy Spirit? We're being called. <laughs> okay. This is giving me chosen one seminar energy. What's this? Yeah, you have to feel to heal. Anything else? Okay. 
wow when you put it like that soul recreation okay and healing okay and then you have to feel the heal so yeah that is calling us in to make some type of changes do some resurfacing of something that we need to heal all that glitters is in gold wanted to shoot out Four of Swords, but it came out in the reverse. So this is the energy of not healing or not going within, not taking that Four of Swords time to take the rest and connect. Am I keeping this in the reverse? Yes, okay. Okay. We have AI energy, not real, but it's in the reverse. Okay, this is that all that glitters is in gold energy. This is like shortcut energy. So we're being guided to actually do the work fully and not take the AI route, the shortcut route, the new social norm route. Our strategy has to change. I saw outside forces and it's like the AI energy, the outside forces are somehow impacting the way that we're doing something that the divine and our spirit guides is advising us to be mindful of at this time. Yeah, with short term here, it's like shortcut. It's like something that's quicker, okay? We got to really feel the heal. God is saying don't, don't, uh, don't miss a step or don't rush through our healing something like that what's the message here holy spirit this one make it work okay you see all these wrenches and stuff here it's like we got to do the work type of thing transformation Reflection, okay? We're being guided to look at something and we got renewal here. So that's that energy. Definitely revamp, renew. Civil servant, spiritual seeker, okay? This is, God is saying we got to do the spiritual seeking, the four of swords, the healing, the going within, before we can step into this civil servant energy. We're all called 144 are chosen divine beings, okay? We're all these unicorns here. I didn't show you all this first card, okay? This says the lady and the unicorn hidden in plain sight. So I feel like in order for us to get to this place of fully being this unicorn, there's a lot that's involved. There's a lot of work involved there's a lot of reflecting involved there's a lot of feeling what we need to feel to heal okay and not just stopping at what looks good with all that glitters and four of swords in the upright going within fully to heal these things because what happens if we don't really reflect the way that we need to and we don't really fully heal things God will simply bring up a new person, new situation, and resurface those things. We'll still be triggered because we never healed it, and we'll be back at the drawing board again. So we're being called to really dig deep and go within. What else, Holy Spirit? Okay, the Father is speaking, y'all. I'm here with you, going with, going through these challenges with you. I'm also creating some of these challenges for you, the Most High is saying to us, because when I gave these challenges to you the first time, you AI'd it. <laughs> this is what I'm hearing. 
we looked at a quicker, easier way, a shortcut, and then we stepped into it. And God is calling us back into this meditation energy for swords in the upright. Anything else here? Knight of Swords wanting us to take action on our healing, okay? So that we can fully transform and renew ourselves okay and come into something new and this is this is momentum energy my initial energy was very bubbly and happy okay and with this unicorn energy here this is like very powerful golden energy okay something good is coming out of this but there is some work associated with it and i feel like my energy was bubbly and still is um because god is not wanting us to do this with a heavy heart and mind okay judgment on the bottom of this deck okay this is about our calling and again i just saw that knight of swords energy and that's time to take some type of action on our healing but god is wanting us to be in a joyful energy as we step into this okay not to be feeling heavily burdened stressed or anything like that okay they're saying there's two tarot cards that they want me to pull here What is a message, Holy Spirit? <laughs> Judgment. All that shuffling, and it still came out. It's about our purpose, about what we're meant to do, about how we step into this unicorn energy. Temperance, the angels are with us, watching over us, saying slowly but surely is what I'm hearing with the, with the temperance. You're not doing this alone. The will of fortune behind that, okay? Destiny, the will is shifting, transformation energy, change energy. Count on it, okay? We can expect what we are actually putting out wheel of fortune to come in if we have weigh it and don't fully get down into whatever this is that we're being called to heal with this field to heal centering this read there's something specific for all of us that we're being guided to look at that may be a challenge with challenger here but we don't get into it y'all all right what's the last card you want here holy spirit and thank you, Holy Spirit. We love you. This one. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So there's some type of illusion. It's like there's some type of lack in the area of our healing something that we fell short of fully healing or something that may be hurt to continue healing. And we created this comforting blanket of illusion thrown over this five of pentacles and stepped into this unicorn energy, okay? All with good intention is I'm feeling. All with good intention, but I feel like for this next period, this next level, wherever we are about to go or whatever is about to occur, we can't, God wants us, ooh, my ear is ringing like high pitch crazy right now. Whoa, okay. So this is like listen up energy. God is saying, whatever we're about to step into, we, God is not wanting us to be in this energy of being triggered about something confirmation that we've already supposedly faced and worked on healing because there <laughs> confirmation there is a huge calling purpose position job venture project something coming up huge unicorn energy okay where God is not wanting us to be taken back 
into this five of pentacles because we didn't fully heal something that we needed to heal okay so transformation this is exciting energy it's not it's not gonna be easy ain't nothing easy about healing ain't nothing really fun about healing but there's a reason why god had me had me in this very bubbly very fun energy because when you're in this type of energy and you got work to do it feels a little better it feels a little easier it feels like almost fun to try to change something like i don't know about y'all for example outside of this message um when i used to work i used to listen to music good music that kept me in high energy kept me going and also it's like you're at peace you're in a good energy and you don't mind the labor at that time you don't mind doing something and also god is saying if you don't love what you're doing that's not your calling if you don't love it if it doesn't make you feel good if it doesn't make you smile if it doesn't make you happy then god doesn't want you doing it now before y'all drag me in the comments let me get these disclaimers out okay i believe i did but let me just do it again this is for entertainment purposes only i'm not a mental health therapist i'm not an occupational therapist or someone that can tell you about your work and when and where to leave it or whether or not to leave your job i'm not saying that at all i'm not a doctor lawyer financial advisor or legal advisor so please do seek professionals in those areas that being said if you are one of the chosen one of the divine ones you definitely have a calling on your life that's not a nine to five well i can't say that let me back it up you very well may be meant to be at a at a job that's a nine to five in which you live out your purpose and calling. I can't say that. But the key factor is, do you love it? And if you don't, that's not what God intends for you to be doing. That's the, that's the whole purpose of that. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. So let's get into this and see what the divine wants us to know. I'm going to pull this one first. Bottom of the deck, merit making. Protest and commitment, it's like God is saying, if we don't fully dot our I's and cross our T's with the healing, it's like you're committed to doing something, but you're really fighting against yourself. You're not really fully, if you don't fully heal yourself when something else comes up and it hits you, it's going to knock you down again. And you did that to yourself by not fully committing to your healing, if that makes sense. Hope y'all going with me on this. Okay, I already can see God is already nudging me right now in my areas. I, there's a few for me that I know that I need to still work on that I'm still actively working on. And I was, I'm going to always be a work in progress. Y'all going to always be a work in progress. Nobody is perfect. Okay, we just have to keep going. I know God didn't told me. I done got my hands popped several times about certain things that I know I need to be doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But I'm not trying to AI it, y'all. I'm not trying to AI it. I just, you know, I just have priorities in other areas. And I, I just tend to, you know, push that one over to the side a little bit. But it's something coming up. I can feel the momentum of something coming up on a grand scale, not just in my life. I feel like it's for all of us. And with this here, 144 at the center top of this read, there is something that God is calling us to do to stand at our post, at our positions, and be in the place where we need to be when God needs us to be there. We got judgment out here. We got the Father out here. So this is like, get ready, okay? This, whatever this is, may be a challenge, okay? But God is saying, uh, preparation. I'm hearing preparation. Get ready, okay? This is not time to nurse those wounds, okay? Now, before y'all drag me, I hope that y'all by now, who y'all, whoever y'all are, that uh, are the new people. You may not 
be flowing in. But the people who've been with me, y'all already know. Okay. There's something coming up here. There's something big coming up here. And we can't be in this energy when God calls us. We can't be trying to nurse a wound that we already supposedly worked through before we, you know, some conflict, whatever this was. Only you know what it will be for you. Because I feel like God is calling us to Whatever this is, it's coming up. It's going to be pertaining to what we had to deal with that we were supposed to heal. Okay, there's some type of test. I don't know what this is. Let me see. What's this, Holy Spirit? Give me some information, Holy Spirit. What am I clarifying first? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Tower. So many messages coming through. Okay. Holy Spirit. What is the lady in the unicorn hidden in plain sight? What is the lady in the unicorn hidden in plain sight? Conflict in the reverse. I just saw this card in the upright. In order to, to be in this unicorn energy, a unicorn is exceptional, okay? A unicorn is always going to draw a lot of attention. It's like the star card energy I'm picking up on, okay? And this conflict, whatever this was, has to be handled before we can fully get into this unicorn energy. That's what God is saying right now. And that is going to come through our self-love, eternal self-love, really nurturing Empress energy, healing whatever's not healed. That's the only way to fully resolve conflicts within ourselves so that we can step into this unicorn star energy. What's conflict in reverse? Introvert, going within. That's how we get this conflict resolved. Okay. I'm clearing for it. Okay, they want the 144 clarified with tarot. Excuse me. You have to feel the heal. Immediately when I got here, the negative energy started coming out. What is this? You have to feel the heal. Okay, we have marriage here. So this could be a host of things. This could be a love situation, matters of the heart. This could be something that you were connected to. Okay partnership of some kind or a codependency of some kind that God is wanting us to release okay to get rid of okay homeless to to move that out of your energy okay so this could be a marriage that was not somebody may have gone through a breakup or a divorce and have heart uh, healing that they still need to do. This could be a connection to family or parents or friendships. Somebody that you were connected to or something that you were connected to. This is very broad with this marriage card. It's not just a romantic sense. So connections, alliances, partnerships, heart healing, addictions, um, blessing okay they're saying this is on the other side of our healing 
anything else for you have to feel to heal. Okay, so there's some sadness here, some fear here. Okay, sadness and fear. There could be something that we need to heal, something that made us sad, or maybe we never got an apology, or maybe we did something that we feel really guilty about, and we need to apologize. Um, we could be fearful of something, or whatever this is, there's a host of things that are coming out that God is saying before we can be in this star unicorn energy and commit to our divine purpose this has to be addressed anything else here no okay so marriage is representing again anything that we have been connected to or that's connected to us or has a hold on us with how this person is holding this woman's arm okay So we got to feel whatever that is to heal it. Only you know what will, it will be for you. All that glitters. What's all that glitters is not gold. Yeah, La La Land energy. Daydream energy. Okay, we're seeing something as paradise when it's truly not paradise. Okay. Dreaming, again, energy. They're showing me the hermit right now, really doing our homework. Give me one more for all that glitters is not gold. Okay. Something that we see as paradise is not truly a gain. Okay. It's a loss or it's a setback. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Some place we don't truly belong. Third wheel. Okay. Wild ride energy, adventure. Okay. And that's not truly where we are meant to be that's not truly where we're going to receive the gifts that god has for us or be able to use the gifts that god has given us what's four swords in the reverse holy spirit the tower there is something coming in and before it does god has wanted us to get back in this four of swords in the upright energy where we're taking time to go within to rest to heal to meditate to connect through prayer to reconnect with the divine thank you holy spirit all that the message i had to start with about before i they gave me the word transformation they were giving me redecorate revisit revamp all those re's and then we saw soul recreation God is saying, revisit your connection with me. Reset your connection with me. Restart your connection with me. Go into this four source energy, blowing all everything else away. Sit with me, okay? I'm here and sit with me. Just connect quietly with the divine. And ironically, this natural disaster is falling right on top of judgment. So I feel like God is calling us all to reconnect in a way. Wow, this energy just shifted into something I can't explain. It's like, mm, sit with me. Just sitting with the divine in your authentic self. Just talking to the divine this energy is wild it's oof wow holy spirit wow 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 okay so i feel like when we all come into this energy of going into the four swords praying connecting there's going to be a shift Okay, a major shift. It's gonna be a new, a new connection, a stronger bond with the, with God, with the divine, with your higher self, with your spirit guides. Okay, to prepare us for this new level, whatever this is, this.
what else for natural disaster and four of swords in the reverse i'm trying to best explain it they're allowing me to feel what this is but it's hard to put in words so what else holy spirit for natural disaster and for look okay sit with me whoa That's the best way I could describe it because it's, I can't explain what I feel. So you see this person is sitting with the divine and just allowing this tower to come through. It's like God is pouring out this energy. God is going to be pouring out this energy over you. That's going to help you purge anything else that needs to be healed. It's going to help you feel what you need to feel and it may feel like a tower initially it may be a little rough thank you holy spirit that's why i said bumpy ride early on and i didn't even know why but it may be a wave of emotions that feels a little difficult to deal with initially but when you come out okay you're going to come out and step into this unicorn energy it's like going into, didn't I say makeover? Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's like you're going into a dressing room and you're going in there and changing and coming out brand new and completely different. When you go into this four of swords with the divine and go into that closet and spend time and sit with the divine and that energetic tower or energy, whatever this is I'm feeling hits you, you're gonna come out ready, truly ready. Okay, lean not unto your own understanding is what I just heard. Okay, so I feel like a lot of us have been in our healing cocoons doing things the best way we see fit. No shade or no, no, nothing wrong, but God is saying, sit with me in this healing. Okay, let me facilitate your healing uh, proceedings okay let me facilitate it let me be in control of this healing so I can be sure <laughs> okay says the father okay so I can be sure that you are ready okay to reach this goal I have for you so I can be sure that you are ready to Fight when it's time to fight or that you're ready for the challenges that are coming so I can be sure that you have done all the reflection you need to do and you've done all the work and therefore there will be no more lack five of pentacles you will come out of that and I will be sure of it speak holy spirit okay so let's see what else holy spirit make it work okay they want tarot now let's make it work there we are guiding me to read this card it says you have all the tools you need to succeed but you have to put the Put in the effort. You excel at working with your hands and fixing problems, okay? Now, okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. There's that tower. Telling y'all something is coming up, y'all. Oh my. That's going to create a major transformation and change. It's huge. Natural disaster is already out here. There very well may be some type of storms coming in the literal sense. Or some literal natural disasters coming. Let 
me see, Holy Spirit. Give me more insight on make it work. What's make it work? Ten of Pentacles and the world. This was in the reverse. It wanted to go in the reverse. The divine is saying, this is yours. You are a part of the chosen. This is your birthright. It's here for you, but inaccessible if the work isn't done. If the cycle has not fully been closed, there's work associated with getting to this Ten of Pentacles. Okay. What's reflection, Holy Spirit? Yep. King of Pentacles, hardworking energy, leader, grounded. What's reflection? Take time to revisit. <laughs> I think I said revisit early on. Take time to revisit the past and figure out what you want to do. Knowing what you do, what you don't like will show what you truly love. Okay, as I was saying earlier, God is saying, if you don't love it, it's not meant for you. Okay, and revisiting all these reads are very significant. Reflection, revisit, rediscovery with the Page of Wands. What's reflection, Holy Spirit? New perspective, seeing things differently. There's something else here. What else for reflection and hangman? Yeah, because when you... How you invest is going to be very different if you're fully healed. If you fully reflected on everything. I don't know why I'm getting emotional right now. There's something about the heart space. Holy Spirit, help me to, to, to maintain my composure. I need to get this message out. Okay, so someone here specifically, or maybe many, your investments are falling short because of fear. Okay, so you are being guided to reflect and look at something concerning the heart space that has you fearful of putting more in for example this is just an example you are very reserved when it comes to matters of the heart because there's some type of deception that took place with matters of the heart and there lies the issue of trust so whatever challenges that are coming for you that will require any trust you may not give as much seven of pentacles here you may only have five to give because that's all you're willing to give because you don't trust this person okay and this is something that the father is bringing for you this is something that's pertaining your calling and what god has for you and if you're not putting in all that you can you're not going to get out all that you're meant to so that is why God is saying, no, no, no. You've got to go back and finish that healing so that when I say this is for you, um, put the effort in, put all of it in, you won't be stuck in this hangman energy, not willing to put it all in because you can trust me, the father, that I am going to make sure you have everything you need. Speak Holy Spirit. Whoa. Okay this new beginning i'm trying to tell y'all something that's coming up god is saying i'm going to be giving you this new beginning it will require some investments from you you need to be ready you need to be prepared you need to consult with me you need to sit with me so you will know when i say go this is it put in this much, put all of it in. You can trust this. 
I need to know that you're not going to have that doubt and say, no, I'm not going to put seven pentacles in. I'm going to put five because I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't trust it. I've been burned. I'm not doing that. That type of energy, which will leave you defeated and will ruin this new beginning is what God is saying. And this is definitely, I'm taking this one for me because in the area of being burned, honey, let me tell you, okay. I, oh yeah. Okay, so God is definitely speaking to me too. I'm almost afraid to put to, to clarify the Father in the judgment, y'all. I'm scared, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's get Challenger first and Five of Pentacles. Let's get, okay, let's get Five of Pentacles. What's the Five of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? God is speaking. How can you mother yourself? Five of Pentacles energy. Lack, okay? And this, I'm picking up on somebody. As soon as I got to this, somebody that's, Somebody's actually looking at someone else, like, with a little bit of disdain, like, pitiful. That's all you are willing to give me? Five pinnacles? Don't you know I'm an empress? Don't you know how much I put in? How dare you give me five pinnacles? Now, guess what? Nobody else ain't getting nothing more than five pinnacles. Because somebody gave you nothing but five pinnacles. You gave all. You, you, you were an empress to whoever this was. How dare they give you only five pinnacles type of energy when you put in 10. Now, since you have not fully healed that and you are being guided now to mother yourself in this Empress energy, okay, you're like, you be lucky if you get two pinnacles out of me. That's what God is seeing and that is what God is wanting us to fix because the next situation God may be sending the person that's willing to give you 10 plus and you are still in fear, still burned by this person that was the five of pentacles. Okay, so the empress is clarifying the five of pentacles because we're all being guided to do this self-love, nurturing, mothering energy to heal what we need to heal. Okay. All right. Cause it's almost time to go with the chariot i'm telling you god is about to be like it's time to go you gonna leap are you gonna trust me what are you gonna do what's challenger holy spirit what's challenger man the world you ready or no nah? This cycle is closing. Are you coming or are you staying in this cycle? Are you going to heal? Are you going to come sit with me or are you staying here? Are you ready to go? Are you coming? Are you ready? Look at this person. Ready for battle. What else is this on this world card? See? Holding back. <laughs> I knew it. God is saying some of us are not ready. We are holding back. We're holding on to what we feel we've already got. We don't want to do anymore. We're afraid to do anymore. And this will ultimately hold us back from getting into this star unicorn energy to getting into that ace of wands energy. This chariot is going to roll on, okay? Chariot doesn't stop for, for very long. Just enough time to get on there and keep it moving. God is not going to wait. God is going to tell us, look, I'll be back on the next round. Maybe you'll be ready by then. Okay. So let's see. Father. <laughs> Have you done your homework? Are you paying attention? Page of Swords. Have you done your research? Do you see what's happening here? 
Wow. Some God is saying, you have to go. Some of some of us are going to be forced to get ready, okay? So God is going to say for some, depending upon where you are on your path, oh, you, you're you not going to have a choice, okay? I'm, put, I'm bringing this tower in, okay? I'm going to test you. I'm going to put you in that situation where whatever this is you were supposed to heal, I'm going to put you in that situation again. I'm bringing this tower in. Let's see what you do. Let's see how you handle it. What's the judgment? Are you ready to go to work? Have you mastered whatever that is? What's judgment? High priestess. Have you been listening is what I'm hearing. Have you been listening to me? This is deep, y'all. This is deep. Split it on Hermit. <sighs> What's 144, Holy Spirit? Guiding me to shuffle through. Just saw four of cups and nine of wands. It's like... The divine beings, star seeds, chosen one energy. While we have these golden opportunities that we eventually get to after we have to go through all that we have to go through, okay, it's not pretty. It's not shining gold like that initially. There's a lot of work. Make it work associated with it. Many are called, but few are chosen. God is saying, are you ready? Do you are you going? Okay, you were chosen for whatever this is. Judgment card energy. Are you going? Are you ready? Okay, you signed up for this before you were incarnated here. Are you ready? Do you remember? Do you remember? Come down and and sit with me. Sit with me. Let me remind you. What's 144 chosen, Holy Spirit? Do you remember your sacred covenant with me, the divine, before you incarnated here? Partnered with me. Contract. Sacred contract. Divine union with the Father. Four of Pentacles. Devil. This is like toxic attachments. Okay. That are holding a lot of us back. Why am I seeing the devil? The devil wants us to keep missing the chariot, y'all. What's this? Yeah, the God is like, get into this queen of swords. Think smart. Think logically. Start cutting the things out that you need to cut out. Okay, I said the star energy. This unicorn energy. We've got something to do. We've got somewhere to be. This tower's coming in. The judgment is here. God is rounding us up. We got to get in this sharp energy. What's the Queen of Swords? King of Cups in the reverse. Okay. This is where a lot of us are in our emotions concerning the things that we have not yet healed. God is saying, come out of this King of Cups in reverse, emotionally unstable energy when it comes to what needs to be healed 
and step into this Queen of Swords energy in the upright and start cutting those things out. Start um, Wow I just keep hearing sit with me I feel like God is going to show us because a lot of us have suppressed a lot that we don't even want to we don't want to bring that up okay too painful for a lot of things to be fully healed so that's where this tower is going to come in and this natural gust of energy or wind that's going to bring back things that we need to take a good look at anything oh, the hierophant on the bottom of the deck I'm trying to tell you God is about to there it is again that ace of wands that's something new coming y'all the momentum is building emotional intelligence we have the king of cups in the reverse now we got the queen of cups in the upright with the queen of swords in the upright emotional intelligence and logical thinking right now we need to be able to step into whatever this is that had us in this emotionally unstable place and start working on it so we can come out of this nine of swords because every time this thing comes up again we're going right back into the nine of swords if it's not healed and we can't go effectively efficiently with this new beginning because we'll destroy the opportunity and God is wanting us to be victorious six of wands so we got work to do y'all we got to do this work so God is just saying sit with me sit with me let me talk to you let me show you what you need to do let me show you what you've overlooked and let's start working on it let's start mothering ourselves and healing these things that need to be healed thank you holy spirit let's get an angel message i just want to see what they want us to know y'all okay they said no a message from spirit instead let's get a message from spirit instead to close this read They're showing me something as I shuffle through these. The ashes from the Palo Santo were going up and now they're falling and settling down. And I'm hearing when the dust settles, okay? This is the energy of the tower coming in to burn down what's no longer serving us. And then the dust will settle and up will arise the phoenix, okay? The unicorn, the star energy, okay? But sometimes God got to got to burn things down a little bit. This one. Okay. It says, Dearest you, isn't it amazing how things seem to come around again? <laughs> Full circle in ways you could not possibly have planned. You wonder how a dream could die only to be resurrected, another reword, years later when you really ready is the holy spirit speaking or no y'all wow okay you thought it was time back then but your wisdom knows better than your small self whose desires are unmet now here you are with a new opportunity to do things from a different more mature perspective speak holy spirit my goodness we want you to trust we want you to trust that in this new opportunity for rebirth you will be called in two directions and the one that is unfamiliar will be the right one in the unknown spaces the uncharted places of infinite potential we are waiting to guide you into your fullest life Big bounty will come if you remain in the present 
you have come full circle and now you can see that everything changes is made new and is given new hope loving you always I cannot y'all I just cannot the Holy Spirit is really coming through I pray I pray that y'all are getting this message I'm baffled to be honest <laughs> I love y'all I really hope that this message has helped sit with me says the most high God okay that is the main thing they want us to remember before this message came out they were talking about re rebirth revisit revamp transformation okay God is so amazing ain't got nothing to do with me nothing at all to do with me please know that and for those of you that don't know that haven't been here that long this is not the me show over here i i don't matter i matter to god but i don't matter when it comes to what these messages are okay don't glamorize what comes out and and for me it's God, okay? It's God, it's the spirit guides, it's the angels. Show gratitude to them, love them, thank them, okay? Because they are letting us know, okay, what's coming up and what we need to do. I'm so very grateful because I know I got to get my butt to work. <laughs> I got work to do too. And that's why I'm so glad that we are here together so that God can properly guide us and get on our case sometimes. Sometimes we get spanked on on this channel. God God will put me in a headlock in a minute on this channel. Okay, and let me know. Like, look, you know you're supposed to be doing this. I done told you, I don't know how many times, you need to get busy. Okay? So, I'm grateful. But this one kind of really just... Yeah, this one... Got me thinking. I need to go sit with them, sit with God, let them work on me, and let me get on these things that I need to get busy on, y'all. I love you so much, family. I really hope that this message helped you. I really hope that you sit with God and get your instruction on what you need to do because. That chariot is about to roll through, y'all. The chariot is coming. And we need to be ready. I love you, family. Until next time, peace and blessings. I shake.